What we're going to be doing is going over the all new Solo Hunter Bino harness system. It's very adjustable. You can adjust the pouch to sit super low on your stomach where a lot of guys like to do it or most, you know, right here in the center. And I've even some, some, seen some guys like to set it up really high on their chest. You know, for me, I'm gonna set it up right here in between my man boobs and get it nice and snug and fit in that, in that nice little pocket underneath my pecs. Just go ahead and take these two for now, snap those in here. You can see that they're, that I've put it in upside right because there is an upside right as is evident by the logo. Go ahead and get those two buckled in like that. And then you take this shoulder strap and you just snap that in. I just like to kind of make sure that everything's straight so that I don't have to do it twice. But I'll probably end up having to do it twice. Okay, so what we have here is a vinyl harness that would fit a very large man. And we're gonna suck this thing down and adjust it to fit our body. So, go ahead and put this thing on. Normally what I'll do is I'll take the side pieces, the side straps, not even worry about anything else. I'll fit that, that harness where I think it's gonna be comfortable for me, where I'm used to having it right here. What that does is that allows me to take and tug these straps here, the shoulder straps, pull them over, and then go ahead and uh, get that adjusted to the right length that I want it. Additional strapping, we can decide what to do with that later. You know, a lot of, once I get everything set to where I want it, I give myself an inch or two, cut that thing off and burn the ends. Take in consideration also, you know, you may be wearing a jacket, those types of things. So right now I'm just gonna adjust mine kind of where I want it. I'll go ahead and tuck this back through itself tight fit, and that kind of also locks in this sliding adjuster, whatever the heck it's called. Okay, and then what I'll do to adjust for, to make sure that I have enough for when I wear heavier and bulkier clothes, I'll go ahead and just cut it off right here and uh, melt that. So I'll just give myself, in this case, I'm giving myself three, four inches, cut it off. You may or may not want to cut it off. I've worn this prototypes and everything for a long time. I know pretty well exactly where I want it, so I'm not too concerned about cutting it too short and then being stuck having to buy another one. Same thing on this side, tuck it through. Okay, to attach the rangefinder pouch, you notice it's got this little cupping here. I'm right-handed, so I like mine on the right side. I'll just slide this down through the webbing, like that. Take this Velcro, and then run it through here. It's hard to do backwards because I got the camera where I normally would stand. Pull that Velcro all the way loose from the other side. Pull that tight and go ahead and strap it down. Max height is about seven inches and width, you know, pretty much any binoculars, there's plenty of width um, to fit that in there. So 12s will fit barely if you roll the eye cups in. These will work with the eye cups rolled in or not. I mean, you guys have bought backpacks and vinyl heart systems and all kinds of things before. You know, you know what you're doing. This is for those that have maybe have not seen it. And then once I get it where I want it and I have enough flexibility, make sure that everything's got plenty of room in there. Features of this are it's held together with two powerful magnets. It's got um, rigidity built into the face of it for padding and protection. You can pop it open with one hand if your, bow's, if your hand's on your bow. You can do your thing. Leave it open while you're on the stock, close it. Everything is super quiet. Um, made from a micro ripstop fabric. On the back side of a pouch, tags, a shooting chart, you know, whatever, whatever you want in there. Kept it pretty simple. What we didn't want to have was a lot of extra bulk. Low profile, streamlined fit, um, you know, simplicity with protection of the optics is really what we were going for.